This week on the bench, I'm going to tie you up a small hopper imitation. This is a yellow fly, can imitate a lot of different things, but it works very well as a small hopper. Make sure you have these materials ready before you tie the fly. For the hook, we're going to use a Mustad R50, size 10 or 12. We'll tie with some UTC 70 black thread. We'll use some red pheasant crest for the tail, some yellow sheet foam for the body. For the wing and head, we'll use some fine deer hair and some brown silly legs for the legs. To start the fly off, I've taken a few strands of my red pheasant crest and I'm going to extend them back about a quarter of an inch to form the tail and go behind your, your tail too just to help it stand up. Take some yellow sheet foam and trim it so it's about a couple of millimeters thick and I'm just going to kind of round off the tail end. I'm going to put it on for the body. I'm going to have it about the length of the tail, just so it ends at the tail. And then I'm going to tie it in, and not quite at the eyelet, just back from the eyelet. This will be our head a little bit later. And that's going to form our foam body. Now you have the body tied in. I'm going to take some short, fine deer hair, and I'm going to tie this in at the head. Allow that hair to flare a little bit. I'm going to wrap it over and this is going to form the wing a little bit later. So we'll just tie it in at the head and leave it off the front for now. Now I'm going to build up the head a little bit. I'm going to add quite a bit of the black thread just to form a black head on this fly. A lot of times I will dub in a different material like a yellow color but I like the black on the head of this fly. I'm going to take my thread back to the middle part of the hook probably about two-thirds forward. Now I'm going to take all that deer hair to form the head and the wing. So I'm going to pull it all back over the body and tie in fairly tight to form the head and the wing and allow that deer hair to flare. To put in the legs, I've taken some brown silly legs and I'm going to put them on both sides of the hook. So just wrap a couple on one side, make sure they're fairly even with the hook. And what I mean by even is nice and parallel with the hook and we'll put another set on this side. So we have four sets of legs, two antenna and two legs out the back. Now we're going to whip finish the fly off in the middle to form a nice segmented fly. So whip finish it off, snip off our excess thread and then what we're going to do is trim our antenna and our legs. What I'm going to do is push these antenna forward and just trim them so they're quite small, probably only about a half an inch long. Then I'm going to bring the legs back and trim them so they're the length of the body, so they're fairly even. And there it is, the finished small hopper. You know the yellow color and obviously the foam helped this fly float and make a look like a grasshopper. The real nice thing is you can use this pattern anytime, anywhere. It's another great attractor pattern.